Broderie Anglais is like my summer fabric bay and then Boucle is like my winter fabric bay. I kind of felt like I was looking like Spongebob if you were to get dressed for work. It makes you want to like... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're finally at that time where people are kind of thinking about going back to work if they haven't done so already. So I thought for this video I'd do a little sort of work where I try and haul for you guys, just showing you some pieces that I picked up from New Look that are really sort of professional so you could wear them into the office but also super stylish and affordable. So let's get started. So first up is this beautiful blazer, which is from New Look. It's from the tall section because I'm six foot tall, but I think they also had it in the regular and possibly boutique section. So don't be put off by that if you're not tall. Um, but I saw this and I instantly was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, I have to have it. Because I love boucle and sort of tweed in general, but there's something about them that just give me like Chanel vibes. And obviously like, I don't have a Chanel kind of budget. So whenever I see sort of high street pieces with that kind of like Chanel-esque vibe, then it's something that I'm just like, that needs to be in my wardrobe. Do you know what I just realized guys, right? So I was about to tell you the size that I bought this in, and I was gonna say I bought this in a size 10, but I put it on and it was absolutely massive. And I remember thinking, dang, like I should probably have got a six, like it was that big. But I just looked at the label and either I ordered the wrong size or they sent me the wrong size, but it's actually a UK 18. <laughs> So I was looking at this blazer like why the heck is it so big like it fits I was gonna say it fits beautifully that's a lie the sleeves I must say fit beautifully because they were like they almost covered my whole hand and I was like actually in shock because I don't think I've ever had a blazer or a jacket or even like a long sleeve shirt in my life that fit that well in terms of the sleeves but the body was just absolutely gigantic and I just thought like it was massively oversized but anyway it's still a really beautiful blazer it's kind of like it's not that horrible sort of itchy boucle that you sometimes get or tweed like it's quite soft which is really nice and it's also got these really sort of lovely kind of I don't want to say tinsel because that's going to make it sound like it's some sort of like boucle Christmas tree jacket <laughs> which just sounds honestly horrific but like these sort of sparkly threads kind of running through the black and white boucle fabric when it comes to Chanel the sort of suit thing is very sort of like typical of the brand so they tend to like make a matching jacket with a sort of matching skirt and then you wear them together rather than wearing them as separates even though I do really like separates. Another thing that I really loved about this as well is that it's got these really beautiful sort of gold military buttons so it's got like big ones going all the way down to the bottom and then on the sleeves it's got sort of smaller ones right here as well and I just thought the attention to detail for this especially for a high street piece was absolutely amazing. I'd actually say it's worth way more than I paid for it so this was $39.99. If this fit perfectly rather than being like three sizes too big, it's the sort of piece that you'd have in your wardrobe forever. Like you could sort of mix and match it with, I don't know, like a black pencil skirt. And also because the fabric is quite heavy, it's really sort of perfect for like autumn, winter, which are coming up now. The only downside that I would say with this is that it was a little bit on the boxy side and I don't mind a boxy jacket because I think sometimes it can have that really cool sort of oversized slash boyish look. But I think when it comes to workwear, I generally like my work by pieces to be kind of tailored because I just think it looks more professional, sleek, put together. But I feel like even if I bought this in a smaller size, so like say a size 12 or a size 10 and it was still boxy, it's the sort of thing where I think it would actually be worth it to get it tailored because there's a tailor in my local sort of town centre and they will generally like take in a jacket for you for like five to ten pounds, which I think isn't too bad. So I think that's probably what I'd do with this if I decided to keep it. So the second piece that I picked up from New Look is this lovely sort of faux leather pinafore dress and it's just like in a sort of classic A-line style and then it kind of fastens up at the back and it's got these lovely sort of wide straps. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking, you're probably thinking why on earth have you bought a faux leather dress to wear into the office but when I picked it up I kind of had a vision in mind and I kind of thought like there's a blouse that I have in my wardrobe which is it's kind of like a white blouse and it's got like a dog tooth collar dog tooth cuffs and then dog tooth buttons. So I kind of thought if I styled it with a kind of office style shirt, it would look, I guess, kind of professional chic with a bit of an edge. But the thing that I failed to consider when I picked this out was the length, like, because it's from the tall section, I kind of thought it would be long enough to be kind of professional-ish. So I thought it'd be maybe like just above the knee or like on the knee. But it's definitely like sort of a mini dress kind of fit, which is obviously not office appropriate, um, depending on the sort of office that you work in. But I think in most offices, it'll be generally frowned upon to wear a dress of this length into work. So I kind of thought, okay, let me try it with a shirt and kind of see if that makes it look a little bit more professional. Um, I think it did, but even when I added a pair of tights and a pair of shoes and a kind of semi-professional bag, it was just still looking a little bit on the short side. So I'd say this is more of like a wear out for like drinks with the girls or like wear out for a sort of, I was gonna say casual, but maybe not casual, like just a non office kind of occasion, <laughs> if you get what I mean. Cause this is definitely not a dress that you'd wear into the office without people looking at you like, girl, like where do you think you're going? But yeah, this is really nice quality for the price. So this was 19.99. Again, I got it for 20% off with a discount code on the New Look website. 
Um, I did kind of consider keeping it as a non sort of office piece. So like to wear kind of out and about, but I'm just not sure that I love it enough to keep it. I'm kind of like, if I didn't have it in my wardrobe, would I miss it, if you see what I mean? So based on the fact that it's super short and I don't know how much I like it for a non office piece, I think I'll be sending this back as well. But let me know your opinion in this in the comment section. So next up is another beautiful dog tooth piece. Dog tooth I'd say is like one of my favorite sort of winter, um, I was gonna say trend, it's not really a trend though. I feel like it's one of those things that never really goes out of style, but I'd say like my favorite sort of winter pattern, especially in the classic sort of monochromatic um, color palette like this is. So it's just like a sort of V-neck cardigan um, in a lovely sort of knitted fabric. And it's got these beautiful little like gem buttons. Well, quite big gem buttons to be honest, that go down the center to fasten it up. And it's got lovely long sleeves. And then the cuff has this little sort of like black bit at the bottom. I think I remember seeing something similar to this last year because I think Dogtooth was trending for like AW 2021. Um, but I didn't pick it up just because at the time it was 25 99 and I guess it is kind of affordable, but for me, a cardigan is something that should be sort of 10 pounds or less. So I think I bought this um, for this particular haul for 9 99 in the New Look website and I literally rushed to buy it because <laughs> I'd wanted it for like a whole year and I think this is a way more like sort of affordable price than £25.99 I think that's a bit much to pay for like what is essentially a simplish cardigan so in terms of this I do overall really like it the one thing that I wasn't so keen on is the fabric now for £10 or even for £25.99 I wasn't expecting it to be like cashmere or you know some sort of like angora wool or something but it's kind of that sort of acrylic fabric where it's very very obvious that it's acrylic like it's almost kind of the only expression that I can use to describe it is kind of like starchy, like when you sort of rub your fingers on it, it makes you want to like... <laughs> Does that make any sense? But luckily, maybe actually it's because I had a shirt on underneath, it didn't feel too bad on. Fit-wise, I'd say it's pretty true to size, so I got this in a size medium, which I guess is probably like a UK 10 to 12, which is I'd say my general size. So kind of oversized, but not like overly oversized, if you see what I mean, like a nice sort of comfy oversized fit. And it looked even cuter when it was buttoned up. I absolutely love the button detail because I just think it makes it look a little bit more expensive. Like, they're really pretty, but they're kind of sort of flower shaped, I guess. And then the middle of the flower is kind of like a raised gem. So when you're trying to pull it through the buttonhole, the edges are catching on the buttonhole and then the top is catching on the buttonhole. And it's really cute, but I feel like they kind of went with like style over substance when it comes to this. I'm definitely a morning person in terms of productivity, but in terms of like, you know, doing sort of physical things, I don't really wanna be like doing a full on workout when I'm just trying to get dressed to work, especially in the morning, you're likely to be kind of maybe in a rush because you wanna get to work quickly. You don't wanna get caught in traffic. So yeah, if I kept this, I'm thinking, even though the buttons are really pretty, I'd probably end up changing them for something that just went into the buttonholes a little bit more smoothly. This is another thing that I think would look really cute sort of paired with the skirt that I mentioned that I bought from m &S earlier. So if you've got like a dog tooth skirt in your wardrobe or even just a plain black skirt or a plain black pair of trousers, this would look really beautiful with that. I think I'm leaning more towards the side of keeping it just because you can't really feel the sort of horrible starchiness of the fabric when you've got it on, unless you're wearing it like on its own, but I feel like that would be really weird for work because the neckline would be kind of giving you peekaboo, which isn't what you want to have for the office. So next up is another monochromatic piece. I don't know what it is. Like I really like colors when it comes to stuff that I wear out of work. When it comes to work, I just kind of want to look sort of classic and cool and professional and I think the best way to do that is by wearing sort of monochromatic pieces so I've gone for the monochrome look for the entire haul. So what I picked up is a pair of kind of flared trousers so I think I thought they were going to be kind of a bit more sort of structured obviously because that's the kind of fabric you want generally for workwear but they're very sort of stretchy and just like polyester -y. I'm not so keen on the fabric to be honest and also as I was just looking at them I realized that the fabric is also slightly see-through which I don't think you want at any time but you especially don't want people seeing your pants at work so <laughs> I think the fabric is a bit of a fail. Everything about this pair of trousers I think was a fail. The check I could take, the elasticy fabric I really don't like, but the length. Guys, these are from the tool section. I got these in a size eight and I put them on and they were kind of looking a little bit jack up here and I was like, okay, maybe we could manage them, you know? Cause you know, sometimes you do what you have to do as a tall girl, like stuff isn't gonna fit you. So sometimes you just make it work. But the minute I put my shoes on, it became very clear to me that this isn't one of those things you can make work. Like, they were just sort of hiking up at the ankles, looking like you'd borrowed your younger sister's pair of trousers or you'd put your trousers in the wash and they just shrunk. Even with a flat pair of shoes, I feel like they would be very, very jack up -y. So honestly, I was really disappointed with these. Other than the pattern, I can't say there's anything I like about these at all. Um, 
yeah i'm just gonna send these back let's move on shall we yeah let's move on so next up is another beautiful blazer also in a boucle fabric i feel like broderie anglais is like my summer fabric bay and then boucle is like my winter fabric bay so it's like a jacket in a cream sort of color again with the military buttons but this one has a different neckline to the dotted one that i initially showed you and it's i guess that sort of classic kind of blazer style that you're probably more used to i like the first one that i show you this one is in a sort of long line fit so if you look it is ridiculously long but i can barely fit it in frame when i'm trying to show you the sleeves weren't as long as the first one but then this one is from the regular section so i guess they weren't going to be i did like the long line style i must admit because i don't mind a cropped or shorter blazer because i have sort of long legs i think sometimes long blazers can sort of balance out my physique a bit more like balance out my proportions so it doesn't look like i'm all leg and basically no, no torso even though that is kind of the case hey baby do those legs go all the way up why yes they do in terms of the fabric this is another excellent quality piece from new look but the fabric is really sort of soft and really sort of thick so perfect for like autumn and winter which are coming up this was 46.99 i don't remember paying 46.99 for it but then i might have done but i still think for this sort of blazer you'd probably get one for similar quality at somewhere like marks and spencer and full price would probably be more around like the 70 or 60 pound mark so i still think this is a bit of a style steal if i'm being completely honest i find that when it comes to high street pieces when you're saving money you're actually saving on the sort of smaller details that make a blazer or a structured piece fit better so it's things like the tailoring where it's supposed to sort of be nipped on the waist and then flared gently on the hip it will be sort of straight and boxy i kind of felt like i was looking like spongebob if you were to get dressed for work i was kind of thinking is it one of those ones where if i got it in a smaller size it would fit a little bit better but i don't think the fit is the issue i think the lack of tailoring is the issue and i don't imagine that the size 10 would be tailored because the size 12 isn't so yeah i'm thinking i'll send this one back next up is another boucle babe in a door tooth pattern and this is a little pinafore dress but unlike the faux leather one that i showed you earlier it's got like really thin straps and this one has like a sort of classic square neckline so my thinking with this one i picked up was that it was another piece that i could kind of mix and match with the boucle blazer that i showed you first about this because i had really high expectations for it but this one was another letdown you know normally like you'll get dresses where you've got like a zip at the side and it will come down to maybe like the waist or the hip and the zip will come all the way up to the top and then you just fasten it like that well they kind of started doing that so they put the zip sort of near the sort of mid waist area but then for some reason rather than making it come all the way up to the top they kind of cut this little hole and then sewed up the bit at the top so that you have this little gap that opens rather than the dress just opening fully which makes it really really hard to get on and i just think like why though like you had a zip you obviously probably would have opened up the fabric but then you thought no let's sew the top bit of it shut so that the person has to like wiggle into it fit wise i have to say it did fit pretty nicely when i eventually got it on which took me like forever and a day it kind of does actually contour to your body in a really nice way um i'd say to be honest it is probably a little bit too tight for the office even with the sort of blouse that i put on underneath i did feel it was a little bit too sort of form fitting i guess so this was 23.99 again i used a 20 percent off discount code um i don't know that i'd say it's worth that much just because there is quite little fabric especially for a tall piece and also i bought this obviously as a workwear piece it isn't suitable as a workwear piece because of the length and it's not like i got it out of the packaging and was like oh my gosh i'm madly in love with it it's not like i got it out of the packaging and was like oh my gosh i'm madly in love with it if it had fit sort of well lengthwise i might have considered keeping it based on the fact that it's just too short and i literally had to fight with it to get it onto my body i think i'm going to be sending this one back as well so last up is this adorable little sweatshirt and i know sweatshirts aren't usually seen as like a workwear piece but i just thought it'd be nice for something sort of like dress down friday so on days where you wanted to dress down a little bit more but you still wanted to look kind of put together um i think if you pick like a classic sort of crew neck sweatshirt like this in sort of classic colors like a monochrome like this one then it's really easy to sort of get that sort of effortlessly casual but also professional style so this is in a size medium and i got it from the regular section and it fits pretty through to size it was really really soft as well which i was really surprised by it's almost like a sort of brushed fleece fabric inside and it feels really nice against your skin because generally like you'll layer sweatshirts all over like a t-shirt or something but i just put it all over the top of my bra and it felt really nice to wear the great thing about this is that it's really sort of versatile so you could really dress it down with like a pair of black jeans and your favorite pair of trainers but the thing that kind of drew me to this as well is that this lovely sort of crew neck neckline here i thought would look really pretty 
reminds me of like a kind of broderie anglais collar that I've got in my wardrobe. I feel like if you add a collar to pretty much anything, it kind of looks professional. And that was kind of the look that I wanted this to have. So I kind of wanted it to say like, I'm dressed down today because it's Friday or any other day of the week where you don't want to dress up. But I still want to look like I'm coming to work, if you see what I mean. So this was 19.99. Um, again, got it for 20% off, which I think is a pretty good price. Like really lovely quality. It's 100% cotton, so it's not gonna make you like horrible and sweaty on the occasion when you do get hot. Perfect sort of layering piece for the autumn slash winter. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be keeping this though, just because I do have a couple of sweatshirts in my wardrobe that are in the sort of monochrome color palette. And I think I like those ones more. Like this is one of those pieces that again, would be nice to have. But if I didn't have it in my particular wardrobe, I don't think I'd miss it. So I think I'm gonna send this one back. But if you you guys do like it then I'll link it for you in the description and you can pick it up for yourselves. So that was everything. I really hope I've given you guys some inspo in terms of pieces to pick up for your back to work wardrobe and also which pieces to avoid because I feel like some of those pieces from the tall section were just a little bit. Anyway if you did find it helpful then please like, comment and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and head over to my blog shewalkstore.co.uk where I post about all things style and substance. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! This thing got me thinking of life.